When you secure yourself a study place here in Finland, the next question would be how do I apply for my residence permit to come for my studies? So in today's video, I'm going to share with you all there is to know about applying for your residence permit for your studies here in Finland. So let's get into it. Hello guys, it's your girl Lovet right here and in today's video I'm going to share with you everything about study permits and how to go about it. I am going to open the official Finnish uh, immigration website for all the application about visa, residence permit, what have you here in Finland. If you're going to study a program that would need up to three months plus, that means you will be required to have a residence permit or apply for a residence permit. Otherwise, if your application, if your studies is just going to be within three months, all you need is a visa. But here we are channeling our attention to those of you who are going to get admitted to study degree programs and master's programs, which is definitely going to take longer. Here is the official page. I'm going to share the link to this page on the description box of this video so you guys could go click by yourself and read through. But today I'm going to share you with you as you can see permit and citizenship here is where we are and it's talking about residence permit residence permit application for your studies here it gives you a vivid information on all there is to know so applying for a residence permit with this application if you're moving to Finland to study and you have been accepted as a student at an educational institution in Finland and on this right hand side of my screen they have written the expected processing time for electronic application electronic applications are applications you make online so in this website there is a place where you make an application directly online using your email so I'm going to show you guys in a separate video how to make your application directly online so and if you're going to apply for a paper application the paper application takes a longer time and processing time and it's more expensive so paper application is literally um, going to the Finnish embassy or going to the VFS office to officially make your application right there which is to a waste of time in my own understanding because why not just sit at home and make it in the comfort of your home so yes guys so here it reads that the first permit is going to take one to two months to process if you actually did an electronic application the expected time for the paper application is two to three months as you can see the time has doubled and the electronic application fee is for first residence permit is 350 euros. For paper application, you are going to pay 450 euros. That's 100 euro extra. So guys, we are doing electronic application. Then we are moving down here to your study leading to a degree or a vocational qualification, or you are coming to Finland as an exchange student. These are the circumstances where you need this permit. Then we are going to move down to, are you applying for a first residence permit for studies? Check out our new guide for students. When you answer the questions in the guide, you can easily find exactly the information you need. If you click here, it's going to take you directly to the guide. But let's move down. This is what you should do. Prepare. First and foremost, you should prepare for this application. Otherwise, it's going to take longer time and it's going to, it's most likely not going to be positive if you don't get prepared for it. So make sure you meet the requirements for the residence permit studies. What are the requirements? Click drop down here and it's going to show you what the requirements are. You need to be able to support yourself in Finland for entire duration of your studies. You must have at least 560 euros at your disposal every month to be able to pay for your accommodation, food and other needs. So in addition, if you times 560 euros times by 12 months, which is one year proof, which is what they require, you are going to have 6,720 euros in your bank account when you submit your application. Then, if your studies will take less than one year, you, can, you must have 560 euros per month at your disposal. So, having known this, this is what is required. You have a study place. That is requirement number two. Of course, you are applying for residence permit for studies. You should have a study place. Then, the third one is you have insurance. Insurance is health insurance. Like I already told you guys in some of my videos, you have to have a health insurance covering you for one year and you can buy it from so many different insurance companies. I, there is Swiss Care, there is ICO insurance, and there's some other insurances here, companies here that you could use. I have a video on that coming up. Then, these are the three things you need for you to be ready. 
your have you have your insurance one year valid you have a study place here in finland a certificate to prove that you have been admitted and that you have the money in your disposal in your account now make sure you have all the attachments needed this will speed up the processing of your application so you have all these things but you have to scan them or save them in a separate file let's say call them uh, application documents or something and have them ready right there before you make this application this is very important and general attachment what does general attachment mean they require you to have a valid passport that is the international passport and they require you to have a passport photo that is like they have a photo guideline on how they want the passport photo to look like you know go to the studio tell the studio man or woman that you'll need a passport photo for your international application they know how they what is required blue background white background your ears both are being seen and it's, it has to be very close to your face so less of your shoulders and the rest of your body and all that so but you click here you get the whole details on how they want it so don't miss out that then you have to have a, a color copy of the passport page containing your personal data so when you scan your international passport information page it has to be colored exactly the way in it is in a hard copy then if applicable document showing that you are legally staying in the country where you are submitting your residence permit application to if you're not in your home country for this for instance you would need uh, a residence permit or a visa to show why you are in that country where you're applying from but for those of you that are in your home country, that's not required. Then, finally, you're going to have the form MP, that is the application form, which you have to download by clicking this link right here. All these things that are blue in colors are clickable. Click here and you download the application form for your residence permit. You fill it and then you attach it to the application with making it online. Then, application specific attachment. Certificate of uh, acceptance or attendance from your educational institution, your, of course, admission certificate, documents of sufficient financial resources, which is your account uh, statement, certificate of insurance, which we've talked about, and document of paid tuition for or documentation of scholarship. So you have to have paid your tuition fee to have your document or a certificate of paid tuition. You need that for this application. So then these are all you need. And if you're under age 18, you can go through this for that information. Now, you have all the attachments that is needed. Then the next thing you do is fill in the application. Fill in the application and add your document. Let's drop down and see what I said. You can fill in the application online in Ento Finland. Okay, I have to pause here. Ento Finland is the website where you make all your application directly to Finnish Immigration Service. That is the online application, so you don't have to do it in person in paper through this link is where you are going to do that then you can apply and then attach all the documents that is required of you then pay for your application you can pay for your application through internet banking when making the application online or you can pay at the Finnish embassy or consulate abroad or you can pay at the VFS office. So you don't have to worry about paying online. If you can't pay online, you can pay physically when you go for your identification at VFS office or at a Finnish embassy in your home country. Then visit an embassy. That's the next thing in line. After VFS office is one of them there in Nigeria. So we have to go there, book an appointment with them, and then uh, go for the appointment. Without appointment, you can't get in. And you guys immediately, immediately you have your application made, book an appointment at the VFS office. Because the truth is, it can take five months. I'm being sincere with you guys. It can take five months for you to get an appointment time through VFS office. So if there is anything you should hurry is getting your application made and booking appointment at the VFS office through your website online. So now that you have done that, booked your appointment and you have gone to identify yourself, when you are going to VFS office, you go with all your documents, original documents, passport, everything that you have submitted online, go with it in hard copy. Then what you do after that, you have identified yourselves and they have asked you a few questions about um, 
your intention to come to Finland, you have paid for your application fee and all that. You in Nigeria, they will still book an appointment for you to now go to Finnish embassy there in Abuja and identify yourself. There, there is fingerprints and there is like the, the Finnish person who is going to interview you personally why you want to come to Finland. I have a video on how to nail that interview at Finnish embassy. If you haven't seen it, check it on my channel and you will see it there. I'm going to pin it also on the comment section of this video. So go straight guys and watch it you can mess up your application just by answering wrongly so get ready for that uh, appointment now now that we have got that covered the next thing that we're going to do is wait that is the hardest part waiting for your decision from the finnish immigration service oh my goodness can be killing i know that i know guys it i have been there so but the truth is Contacting the Finnish Immigration Service all the time is not going to change how faster or slower they are going to process your application. There are queues, there are long queues, you might not start your studies in time, there might be just keep your mind open for possibilities of delay, of so much queue in line, of frustrations that come with it and preparing you for the worst. But it's just going to be when it's just going to be when it's your turn it's your turn and you'll get your papers will get reviewed and processed so if you have applied online in enter finland you will receive notification of your application progress and of possible requests for additional information by email and text message so if you had applied on paper you will receive notification of your application process and possible requests for additional information by email so the thing about the waiting process is that you can actually know through logging into the enter finland where you made the application you can actually know how far is it going with the application when an application is processing you will see it is processing when application is still in queue that it's not yet your time it will tell you that it's not yet your time that it's still in queue when it moves into processing you will see it and when a decision has been made you will see it's just Relax your mind, try to go in once uh, in two weeks or uh, as often as you want anyways <laughs> to the um, enterfinland.fi and check the progress of your application. And then you can ask Kamu here, Kamu is the chat box in this web page, and ask Kamu the processing time for your application. He's going to give you an estimate which is usually around the time that your permit gets out. So this is the process, like from from the beginning to the end, like when it comes to applying for a residence permit here in Finland, all there is to know is right here in front of you. I just explained it to you guys. You can go in and read it and reread it to, you know, to soak it in, provided you make it correctly. Because getting the application wrong alone can give you extra four months, two months, three months, a month of delay. So guys, you don't want to mess with this one because definitely it's going to going to going to affect you. So that's why I'm giving you this detailed video and I want you guys to as well go in and check for yourself. There are things I couldn't cover. There is so much information on this website and I want you guys to look into it and read for yourself. When you get your study uh, permit and comes to Finland, you can work for this amount of hours even while studying. So there is money to be made. I know most of you guys coming for these studies has family members who you'd want to come to Finland for your studies with. That is possible and I have a video already on this channel on how to bring your family members along with you while coming for your studies here in Finland. So check this video out and I'm going to link it also in the comment section of this video. Go straight now and check out this video and thanks for watching. Bye.